Were you in Baghdad? Baghdad is one of the most radioactive cities in the world. Baghdad has over 5 million inhabitants. By any means necessary, leave Baghdad if you can. The rads are more than any human can bear. Here's a famous physicist, Dr. Palio Scampa. Sheds light on how much radiation you were exposed to. 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. This was translated originally from French. From surgical strikes to radiotoxic aerosols without borders. Baghdad city has more than 5 million inhabitants. During the second Gulf War, the city suffered the bombing of 2,453 tons of depleted uranium. With nothing but just the air campaign, and who knows, double with the land campaign. On average, the city has undergone only these airstrikes of 912 kilograms of DU per kilometer and 490 grams of DU per capita, of which 294 broadcast respiratory aerosol in the surgical strikes. 1,472 tons of depleted uranium, 60% of its inventory, to a local rate of 294 grams of fine medical particles respirated per capita that were indeed reduced radioactive aerosols without borders. For if the strikes were surgical, radiological air poisoning ensuing with the irretrievable burning penetrators uranium is global. One can indeed impurity disperse 11 days in the air 10 times more alpha radioactive atoms than atmospheric nuclear tests of fission have done in 40 years. According to the bad winds generally lead to contamination in the planetary atmosphere. The activity of the reprocessors in AU employed in this battle of Baghdad being all co-present radio elements including the low atmospheric of the city suffered the medium optimistic transit volume of 1,472 tons. Local atmospheric contamination during the fighting period distributed in a hypothetically transitional volume. Widespread radioactive heavy metals per cubic meter fragmented at 7.89 E12 invisible fine particles to the M3 with an activity of 256 becquerels per M3. Each gram of uranium that burns at impact breaks up into about 1.3 billion fine particles which are spreading in large numbers in the planetary atmosphere of which just over 77 billion billion here have a diameter of between 0.5 to 2.5 micrometers at 513,000 particles between these two dimensions per M3 of air during the bombing. The 24 hours in the dawn in the Iraqi capital and such is an unhealthy atmosphere inevitably inhaled 145.91 of heavy metals. In 11 days of bombing, they absorbed 1.61 micrograms fragmented into about 2 million billion fine particles of heavy metal toxic. If only that chemical point of view, more than 120 million which would have a probable radioactive critical diameter between 0.5 microns and 2.5 micron size. That crosses the lung barrier and passes unhinged through the circuit sanguine between these two dimensions, these uranium particles and the like are sufficiently active to form hotspots in the cellular tissues alone without even having to wait for coagulation with others. At hotspots, the highly energetic alpha radioactive emissions that they generate chronically break the DNA of these cells and thereby stimulate the mutant repairs that are the source of cancer. The overdrive of minute hotspots and organisms combined with the infernal longevity of these radiotoxic agents dangerously approaches the probability of a physiological or genetic pathology arising from certainty, and especially since all breathe not only good for others impoverished bombing, but even through these tests, the uranium weapons are weapons of mass dispersion, mass destruction of poisons inhalable, small size that the world battlefield is up against, armed without radiological truce or spatio-temporal constraint. They are the multi-millennial crimes against humanity, poor Baghdad. Poor soldiers, poor people, poor planet, poor oceans, poor food that we eat, and the air that we breathe.
this potential radiological toxicity by inhalation that rises to warrant 68 MSV is more than rises by against ESV according to the calculation of proximity, which considers radiotoxicity 364 billion times more harmful than it appears in its official false calculations.